Amen. Well, praise the Lord, everybody, and greetings to you in Jesus' wonderful name. It's the 1st of October, 2024. Aren't we glad? It's because of His goodness, amen, that we get to enjoy a new month in this year of 2024. Well, I'm Pastor Mac Wayne Sam, and I'm glad to come to you and encourage you today on this first day of the month. And I want to draw my attention to the book of James chapter number 1 verse number 2 and the Bible says consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance consider it pure joy mm. that's a hard one right <laughs> You mean, Mac, you were supposed to to cheer when the medical report is bad or when a spouse walks out on a relationship or I lose my job or my home is just in, in, in chaos. I need to consider it joy. Well, really, I don't think that this verse is saying that at all. Of course, as human as we are, it's it's hard to be thankful when we go in through painful situations, right? I mean, all we know is to hurt, all we know is pain, and 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 really we want this pain to end. I don't know about you, but I've been in some challenging situations like this. And many times it was difficult. To consider it pure joy. Well, I hope for the next few moments I could encourage you, brothers and sisters, that we need to grow through our pain. As hard as it is, God wants to increase, God wants to build our faith, and He uses challenging situations the most for us to develop stronger faith in him I'm reminded of another passage of scripture where he says when I come back on earth will I find faith on earth I mean surely we could many of us can produce and show or rather show to the Lord Lord I have a bigger home father I have many car vehicles <laughs> I have a lot of assets to my name but God is gonna inquire will I find faith on earth when I come so really, this is about growing through our pain. God's desire and God's goal is not for our days to be easy, but rather for our faith in Him to be made stronger. Now when these challenging times come, brothers and sisters, God, and as verse 3 says, that there's a testing of our faith which produces perseverance. So I want to encourage you today. What problems are you struggling with? Are you fighting against them? Are you trying on your own strength? Could God be testing you? Could God be checking if I'm still having faith in Him? Your business could not be going the way you anticipated and dreamt about. Prophets are not as, you know, stable as they used to be. The job that you are in, that you prayed for, it seems more like a nightmare now than when you started. There could be so many reasons that you have or you can't find joy in. But I want to remind you that God has not forgotten about you. God is not far away that he's distant from you but be reminded that God is with you. Now, I like the old songs and I'm reminded of a beautiful hymn that says because he lives I can face tomorrow and I want you to know that God is by your side he'll never fail you that there will be a turnaround in the precious name of Jesus there will be a turnaround in the precious name of Jesus. Pastor Mac, I've just lost a loved one. I've lost my family members. 
how can there be a turnaround? Well, God is testing your faith. Are you still going to trust in Him? And I can be the first one to tell you I've lost someone very close to me, my father. But 12 years later, I can tell you it's because of the Lord Jesus Christ by my side, I've made it. And you too can. God has never, God will never fail you. So let's pick up again. Let's trust him for this month of October. Amen. Knowing that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. Verse 4. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything and when we have strong faith the bible says we can move mountains amen and the strong faith does not have to be large in size it can be as a grain of a mustard seed that has been exercised in jesus christ saying lord nevertheless i'm gonna trust in you i'm gonna trust in you so i pray that this month of october will be a blessed month for you your family Amen. Your workplace. If you're unemployed, you're going to trust God. Hallelujah. He'll make a way for you. Your business. There'll be a turnaround in the name of Jesus. The staff that work for you. That God will make a way and things will get better. Do you believe that? I believe with you tonight and today or this afternoon. Whatever time you're listening to this podcast. Don't give up on the Lord. Because God won't give up on you. And he's never left your side. So have a blessed month of October, everybody. God is with you and he will never fail you. So may the peace of God that passes all human understanding rest upon you now. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed month, everybody. God be with you.